Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible. Leicester City 1, Chelsea 3, full time. What a game and what a result for Chelsea. A third consecutive victory now for Chelsea. What a week it has been for Graham Potter. I mean, the last goal, Batio uh, Kovacic wrapped things up late on as Wout was actually sent off for a second yellow card for Leicester City. But Chelsea are now heading into uh, a three consecutive victories. I mean, that's, that's just incredible. From what we have seen them in the past two weeks, now they look like a different team. They just completely look like a different team. Uh, Fernandez sets up uh, Havertz in behind, who checks back and crosses into the box, uh, into the box for Modric. And he cushions the ball down for Kovacic and the midfielder volleys at home. And that just completely put everything to bed. That third goal just finished off Leicester City. Of course, VAR had to check if it was onside or onside, uh, offside or onside, but it really doesn't matter. The ball actually count and Chelsea take all three points. This is this is incredible. I'm going to quickly show you guys the table here really, really quickly here. As you can see, um, this is the standing uh, at this moment in time. So uh, the top four is still a chance. It's still a chance for Chelsea. Oops, where did it go? Let me just put this back. Uh, there's still a chance for for Chelsea. There's still a chance for Chelsea to finish in the top four. They are 10th at this moment in time, but Liverpool have lost today against Bournemouth. Uh, uh, you're looking at the Tottenham result up there as well. Tottenham have won, so Tottenham, Tottenham still uh, extended their push in that top four finish, but I think it's between Tottenham, Liverpool, Chelsea, and Newcastle, obviously, and Chelsea uh, look like they're catching some momentum now they're catching some momentum now I and mean, i do feel like i do feel like they could finish in the top four it is possible especially after watching liverpool drop points today again uh so there's a big chance for them there is a big chance for them let's just quickly take a look at the the, the upcoming games for chelsea so the next game is against everton which i do think they could win aston villa another game they could win Okay, the Liverpool game, you could say it's 50-50. You never know what's going to happen in that match. But they still have two uh, upcoming games that they could uh, put points on the board and close that gap uh, that gap on, on, on Tottenham in that top four finish um, race. But I do think that they could, they could possibly finish. But do let me know, guys. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think Chelsea will finish in the top four? Do let me know in the comment sections. Uh, before I wrap up here, Man of the match, man of the match, I would have to give it to Havertz. I think Havertz scored that second goal, a beautiful chip, and also was involved in that third goal as well. Uh, uh, he he was the one actually puts the cross towards the, uh, on the other side for basically Kovacic to, to, to score it. Mudrik puts it down and uh, Kovacic scored, but for that first switch, I think, uh, Havertz is actually involved in that goal as well. So all around, I think Havertz was was outstanding today. Uh, the same with uh, Joe Felix. I, I I did not understand. I did not understand why Joe Felix was taken off, but I thought he was having a great game. But look, I mean, Grand Potter made that choice, and it finally worked out for him, and they managed to win the game. But I did think uh, it was an odd decision to take off uh, Joe Felix. But Havertz, man of the match for me. Do let me know in the comment sections who is your man of the match. And yeah, people, we move on to the next one. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.